What up, tubers? Welcome back to another draft here on Arena. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash Numot for all your magic card needs. We've got some more Outlaws of Thunder Junction ahead of us. We are in the waning hours of the early access event because uh, for some reason they are cutting it short. But uh, this is like the fifth video in a, in a row I've recorded, so I've got a little bit of a handle on the format. Let's jump right in. We've opened the Stingerback Terror, a pretty nice one. It's got the new mechanic plot on it, so you can pay the plot cost, exile it face up, your opponent will know what it is. And then on a later turn, um, you can pay it, play it rather, for free at sorcery speed. So 7-7 seven, seven Flying Trample that gets smaller for each card in your hand. It is not too hard to just have this be a pretty large threat initially when you first cast it, and then later on, of course, up to a 7-7. Seven, seven. So Journey to Nowhere, the uh, bonus sheet card, Contractor's great, Armadillo's fantastic. I'm going to try to hover over and go with the cards uh, as best I can, but this is going to have to be quick because this is a premier draft. We are drafting with other people, so... This is timed. I'm going to second pick here this Thunder Salvo. This has re really nice. Two mana, X damage target creature where X is two plus the number of spells you've cast, other spells you've cast this turn. So if you cast a spell before this, it's three damage, two spells, four damage, so on and so forth. Uh, this really rewards having some cheap cards in your deck, but at its base, two mana for two damage is great. Uh, another round, this is more constructed. There are going to be a lot of constructed cards in this because of the bonus sheet and whatnot. So just pay attention to, to what you're looking at, right? Don't get baited by a card like this. That's probably more fun than it is good. Shackle Slinger, whenever you cast your second spell each turn, choose target opponent, opponent controls. If it's tapped, put a stun counter, otherwise tapped it. That's pretty solid. First time seeing that. Felidar is really strong, but it's really slow, and it's a 4-7. I think we'll just take the decent red removal spell. Again, with the Stingerback Terror, it's probably just safest to take the cheap, right? interactive spells and just go to town that way luxurious locomotive i don't think that card is very good what's the best card here our red card is the mine raider if you control another outlaw when this enters you get a treasure um i i there, there's i haven't seen like a quote-unquote outlaw deck in this format although there are a lot of outlaws assassins mercenaries pirates rogues and warlocks what does this one do? This is four mana, make a 2-2 two, two flyer, or you can make a, somebody counter a spell unless it's controller pays two. That's good and versatile. I've been enjoying these uh, graveyard theme shenanigan cards. This overall looks like a pretty weak pack. I've done a bunch of red-green in this format already. I've done a bunch of... You know what? I'm going to take that interference. I've done a bunch of red-green and uh, red-black already, so maybe I try to do something different. Let's see what we got here. Nurturing Pixie's decent. One mana, one one flyer, but you can bounce a non-fairy, non-land permit you control to its owner's hand that you control when it enters, and it is a 2-2, two, two, so good value card. Rakish Crew. Whenever up Outlaw, you control dies. Each opponent loses one, and you gain one. Oh, okay. Rakish Crew? Rakish Crew? Rakish? Oh, there's one of those Outlaw Matters cards. That's kind of cool. Um... Derailment, we can just take a 3 mana, 4 damage to a creature spell. That's probably fine. Silver Deputy is kind of nice. It's a colorless kind of fixer. It puts the land on top, so you're not always going to want to grab a land, but it does let you shave a little bit on lands, I think. Fell the Mighty, destroy all creatures with power greater than target creatures' power. Not very good. High Noon, not very good. This can kind of hose uh, decks that are playing... The uh, uh, plot cards, but Trickshot has been a little bit better than I gave it credit for. I mean, I haven't played that many. Like I said, I've done like five videos now, but in the ones that I have, there's generally a token of some sort, you know. This duelist is surprisingly good as well. I'm going to take that and just stick with uh, the red for now. It's an, it's an assassin, so it's an outlaw. It has reach, so it blocks pesky little flyers, but the one damage enables crime. That is a targeted effect on your opponent, so that is um, committing a crime and uh, and allowing any crime matters cards to pop off. Four mana, four two, ETB. You make a mercenary, and then you can sack a token to give this indestructible until end of turn. That also seems pretty good. There's also a desert do here, which this card has also been really good in my experience as. 
picking up the deserts just randomly to get some poke damage, fixing or enabling crimes has been nice. Don't think Demonic Ruckus is all that good. Sure, I'll try to Prosperity Tycoon. Another derailment here. What is Trash the Town? Put two counters on target creature. Put uh, Until end of turn, target creature gains one of this deals combat damage to a player. Draw two and target creature gains trample. Oh, that's a really good green trick. There's also Consuming Ashes here. Solid black removal. So, I mean, the safe pick here is going to be the Explosive Derailment, but... Man, Trash the Town looks really good. It's kind of expensive to get all the modes, but I imagine... Eh, I'm just going to take the Derailment and stick with red. <laughs> uh, exile target non-token creature, return the battlefield and stones control the beginning of the next end step. Destroy target creature if no other creature has greater power. It's kind of neat. Beginning of your end step, if you haven't cast a spell from your hand this turn, and this isn't a creature, it becomes a 3-3 three, three with flying in addition to its other types. 1-3 lifelink for 2, that when it dies, draw a, draws a card. Let's try that uh, getaway gleamer. Oh, contractor's really good, I think. See, three mana, one four vigilance gets plus two plus so as long as you've committed a crime. Conduit pylons is okay. Jagged barons is decent. I guess I'll take the contractor. I mean, if I end up getting into red black again, so be it. If it's open, it's open. Let's take the uh, irascible wolverine. This is another decent plot card. Do some value later on if you don't need the 3-2 immediately. Yeah, recursion spell. This is good with some sacrifice effects, like the contractor. Get the gigapedes later. I'd rather take the cheap cards first and get the expensive cards after. <laughs> another round, another round of another round. Lila, Undefeated Slickshot. 3-3, three, three, whenever you cast a multicolored instant or sorcery, exile it, and then you can plot it. That's really good, but you have to get multicolor cards that are instants or sorceries. <laughs> Intimidation Campaign is fantastic. Really good value card. Um, Roundup hasn't been bad. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, you make a 1-1 one, one with the tap ability. And I think you only realistically need to trigger this twice for it to be worthwhile. Let's see. Spinewood's Paladin is great. 5-4, Trample, gain 3 when it enters for 5, but it also has Plot 4. That's really good. Could just take another Derailment. I don't see anything wrong with that. Yeah, I'll just take another Derail. Surgical Extraction. What is this? Colossal Rattleworm. 4 mana, 6, 5, flash if you control a desert, trample, exile it from your graveyard, search your library for a desert, that card is nuts. Man, I wish I had taken that first trash the town now when we get past this. Jolene is also very good. Am I really going to take a double green card now. I mean, it's pretty bomby, so I guess the answer is yes. Another derailment. Lock picker's really nice. Do I want four derailments? What the heck am I doing? Kind of want to just stay open and take the lock picker. Like, the fourth derailment is not as good anyways, right? Jeez, shoot the sheriff's quite nice. Unfortunate accident's really good removal. Um, another paladin here. Let's take the accident this time. Destroy a creature for four. Or if you have five, you get to also make a mercenary. Yeah, I mean, I might just be going red back to red-black. It seems the most likely scenario here. I like Blinding Negotiation. What is this one? 
Destroy all creatures target opponent controls. Draw a card for each creature destroyed this way. Holy crap. Eight mana, one-sided play, Gwent. I mean... Eight mana is a lot, but... You cast this card, and it's really hard to lose, I feel like. Let's take it. It's a little bit awkward with our Stingerback Tear, because... If we have an 8 drop, it's probably going to be stuck in our hand, but... Damn. I think this was originally printed in, like, Portal or something. Yeah, alright, I mean... Cast it, and it's GG. Um... How many ways are there to make treasures in black red in this format? I guess that's the next question. Void slime. <laughs> Let's see, 2-2 two, two lifelink for two, maybe just to buy some time. Or do we want another irascible wolverine? Kind of like just taking the 2-2 two, two lifelink. And it's Hall. Whenever you commit a crime, you put a loot counter on it, and then you can add one mana of any color, or two and tap, remove two loot counters, draw a card. Oh, can you get two of the same card again? Just like... Really? I guess I kind of want to take the Silver Deputy. Find some lands. Raven is actually solid, given the number of ways we have to commit a crime. We have so much removal, so... Gosh, do I splash the Intimidation campaign? I think I do. Let's go more of a Grixis control deck, I think. Let's see, as an additional cost, sack a creature, draw two, or we take the Pyro. I'm going to take the pyro here. Yeah, I think I'm I'm digging some like Grixis e control deck style. Pick up some more silver deputies. Intimidation campaign seems really really good in a deck like this where I mean, how many ways do we have to commit a crime right now? Like 7 or 8 already. Vanishing Verse. Nope, not for us. Bruce Tarl, the Roving Ranger. Rancher, rather. Oxen, you control have double strike. When it ETBs or attacks, exile the top card of your library. If it's a land, you make a 2 2 ox. Otherwise, you can cast into a turn. That card's just very good. Wow. Uh, oh, a double highway robbery pack. So I guess, yeah, awkwardly, you can open two of the same card. You can discard a card or sack a land if you do draw two. Boombox is eight mana for that ability. I don't think so. God, first... You know what? We'd rather have Bruce Tarl here. I might splash that instead. Caravex really good too, my god. Three mana, three, three. Whenever you commit a crime, exile up to one target black card from your graveyard and copy it. You can cast the copy if you do lose two life. So... You do need to pay the mana, um, but that card is really strong. Kellen the Kid. 3-3 three, three Flying Lifelink for 3. Whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand, so plot, you can cast a permanent spell with equal or lesser, ma lesser manual from your hand without paying. If you, geez, card's strong too. It was Tarnation Vista. As it enters, Battlefield... Tapped, it choose a color. Add one mana of the chosen color for each color. Oh, that's actually not bad. Like, if we're playing a three-color deck, we can choose which color, and then there's a small chance this can actually net mana. A second Overwhelming Forces? No, what is this card? Holy smokes, okay. Four mana, four, three. Make your opponent discard a card. You get a clue. That's fantastic. Uh, don't assume that you're ever going to trigger this more than once. Because you would need to draft other discard effects. Man, so many duplicates. Mm. 
Uh, how is the Mine Raider here? Assassin, Mercenary, Pirate, Rogue, Warlock. Assassin, Mercenary, Warlock, 6, Rogue, 8. Wait, we have 8, right? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Am I missing something? Pirate. I don't have any pirates. Dude, Blood, Blood Hustler's good too. Whenever you commit a crime, put a 1 1 counter on it, and then you can drain and have the commit crime. And Honest Rut Stain's also nuts. It's a 3 mana 3 2 Grave Jigger that reduces the casting cost of creatures you have. Um. I really need some more fixing. Oh man, Rise of the Vermin is so sick too. Holy crap. Prickly Pear is decent. I needed more fixing. I didn't get it many on color fixers, I feel like. I mean, Gold Pan is fixing too, but I don't think it's good fixing. Alright, last few pickups probably don't matter. Um, yeah, I guess this Line Breaker is not doing anything in our deck. I mean, the deck seems okay. We have some good cards, huh? Excuse me. I've been grinding way too much of this format, just trying to get all these recordings done, so... Hopefully I get a bunch of uploaded uh, videos for a few days, because this event doesn't... or this format doesn't come out uh, for everybody until Tuesday. And today is Wednesday, so... Uh, it's probably just worth running the gulch for the crime purposes, if we have enough crime. Yeah, it was like with the intimidation campaign. How many islands do I want to be running here? We're only running two blue cards. Our fixing is Vista, two islands, and the deputy is probably fine as well. Okay, let's submit it like this and get to battling. Because I would love to record one more video after this if possible, and we don't have much time left, so GG. Alright, here we are for our round one. With our red-black control-ish deck, playing against Voxy. Just do two mana, I can make a 1-1, one, one, but it's the double black four. Uh, am I supposed to mill myself? I think I am. The land. Oh man, mill the second swamp kind of sucks. Touche. Milling me as well? What? That ain't right. We want to trade here? I guess that's probably fine. Let's plot our unscrupulous. So we want to get to 5 mana for this so that we can kill something, make a 1-1, one, one, and then sack the 1-1 one, one to the contractor. Generally, you're not supposed to mill your opponent. Oh, especially if they're playing green-black? Oh! I take it back. Whenever you commit a crime, each opponent mills 3. I see. I see. In fact, I am just going to kill that thing off because, uh, no thanks. She's playing some kind of crazy mill deck. We lost to uh, LSV in a different video uploaded earlier uh, to double archive trap. Like, what?
The beaver. Okay. I just do this now. And the reason is there are the sacrifice a creature effects, you know? Oh, also I get to contract and draw two immediately. Never mind. Of course I do it now. Yikes. That is really bad. Or beavers. I whistled with my teeth there. That was really good. Get to derail and then plot our Wolverine for extra value. So we have one bad card to hit off of Wolverine and that's the um, overwhelming forces, our eight mana spell. Wondering if I want to cast this still. I guess we do. Damn it. Get another removal spell, sadly. Yeah, I was thinking about just playing Pyro plus the Raven, but. Getting a little bit punished here. I don't know how many Wrath Effects are in this format. I mean, obviously, Overwhelming Forces is. Yo! Well, at least we prevented her from eating our Contractor, but it would have been nice to play that post-combat, hit the removal spell, and kill the Worm. Maybe I shouldn't have played the Wolverine pre-combat? This plot... Allo Alchemist, when it gets plotted, target. Oh, God. A nine? Okay. Am I losing? I guess I am. That's a crime, so we are going to trigger. Yeah, I mean, I think I attack. I'm going to go back up to 11 here, so obviously I can lose to 4 points of damage, but what am I going to do about that? I'm not leaving back something to chump the worm. I don't think double blocking is correct here on this point of time. Nice, alright. So attack with everything would force a trade chump and an eat but I guess at this point it this doesn't have reach right I think it's better off just attacking for one in passing The hell is this card? Bonnie Paul Clear Cutter. This creature's power and toughness equal to the number of lands. Whenever you attack, draw a card, and then you put a land from your hand or graveyard onto the battlefield. What the hell? Jesus. Um. Oh, it has reach too? What the hell kind of card is this? I need to top deck something. I'm debating if I want to double block the worm. But I think I might actually just be better off taking six and hoping. Okay. All right, I mean, seven, seven flyer, with trample. The 
Bonnie does have reach, but the terror wins by itself here. She's got nothing, I win. <laughs> Oh wait, she gets to draw a card. Oh shoot. Oh, I need to block the trampler here. And chump. Chump. Eat. Eat. Oh my god. Whew, one good draw deserves another. Bonnie off the top into our disinformation campaign or whatever it's called. And a 7-7 flying trampler. We'll take it. We're 1-0. Alright, on to the next game. Ugh, versus the Queen of Cardboard. Intimidation campaign, that's what it's called. Sounds decent. I'm glad I actually added more blue since we have the campaign in our deck, but I guess generally we're not going to be casting that multiple times in one turn. Spire Bluff Canal. Yo, what the heck? Canal into Sanctum? What a rare drafter over here. This card's the crew. Caravex good. Mine Raider, and they do make a treasure. I guess we go with Prickly Pear here. Oh my gosh, I just connected the fact that its name is Prickly Pear. <laughs> but a different kind of pear. All right, they used a treasure to play the rodeo, and then they didn't have a land, so I think we're certainly going to uh, blow that baby up with derailment. Punish them while they're behind. Just a baby stinger back terror, no big deal. Salvo's good. Um, I guess I'm gonna play out the mine raider and then hold up Salvo. But we would really like to wait to get value with the Caravec. But oh, I guess I don't have any black. Oh, this is only black cards from your graveyard, never mind. Oh, and I want to save the treasure for Intimidation Campaign anyways, yeah. I also want to save it for freaking 8 mana, but... We might... I mean... They're actually putting a lot of pressure on me. Okay, well that works. For now, I'm going to go Kervec Pass. Hold up the Salvo to play it safe. They have one card in their hand, so. Alright, that triggers crime. Lock here. I lose value on the Intimidation campaign, but I gain 3 life in essence, so it seems worth it to me. Nice, okay. Ah, I mean, 5-5 five, five flyer seems good. <laughs> Hey, non-outlaw. Gross. Let's just chill out then. 
Uh oh, what did they rip? Sure. That's not that bad. They should have pumped up their duelist and attacked for two. Uh, what is this? Targeting opponents. This doesn't target opponents. One, two is a better blocker here. Deals damage to a player if you've committed a crime. You sacrifice it if you use search library for a card put in your hand. Okay. Well, we will simply take our kill both your creatures, draw two cards, and trigger. <laughs> and that should do her. So we go Hustler into campaign triggers. We're gonna go Bloodseeker mill them. Three triggers now. Nice. That will do her. I guess I want to hold up two red. Um, yeah, we'll just put them on a two-turn clock here. Get a bunch of nice triggers. Dude, Intimidation Campaign is so good. <laughs> Five cards in our hand. Three of them trigger the Intimidation Campaign. Fantastic splash card. <laughs> Two and oh, easy money. Okay, on to the next. Oh, we look here. Yeah, good enough. Deputy can go find us a blue source. One, two, haste, first strike. Yes, it is. See, I already know what things are happening. I don't know the names, Restless Lackey. But I know what it is already. Magda the Horde Master. Whenever you commit a crime, create a tap treasure. Sack three treasures, make a four, four. Scorpion Dragon with Flying and Haste. I guess I'm just going to kill that right now and say no thanks. Uh, we drew Island, so Deputy can go grab a second Black Source if we really want to, but given our hand, we do not want to since we already have five lands. Build two spells, unfortunately. Oh, the tumble wag. I need to draw a swamp right now. Gross. The tumble wag is so good. Okay, that works too. Phew. Yeah, no messing around. We just need to kill that before they untap. So gaining two with the Bloodseeker there is effectively uh, negating the attack of the Lackey, and we're not blocking the Roadrunner anyway, so it makes sense to attack, right?
Uh oh. What are they doing here? Some kind of pump. Oh, is this the three two? It is. Oh no, it's the tra. Oh, they get to draw two as well. Oh, so sick. Yeah, trash the town is nice. I think I'm gonna sacrifice my life linker here. This is a little bit greedy, but kind of like it. I think we're dead, for the record, but. Very possible sacking the lifelinker is my doom. But if I sack the deputy, then I have to make a bad block because they can just make the roadrunner unblockable. Oh, they have a trick anyways. Alright, well, then we're probably dead anyway. Three damage. Five, four tramples pretty good. Okay. Oh, that was a mercenary. I should have been able to play out the rogue. I would have had a treasure. Whoops, I messed up. Oh, wait, no. I couldn't have because this is five mana. No, never mind. I did this right. My mistake was actually correct. I don't need to trade here, but... If I take a couple hits from the ankle biter, I need to block it at some point anyways, so. I mean, if they have two lands in their hand or something, we're not out of this. The 3-4 bounces off of theirs. And we can start draining with Blood Hustler. Nice, okay. Now oh, the start of the comeback is real. So we use the floating mana from the pyro to drain. And since the hustler only triggers once each turn, we want to do one of them on their turn. They might be forced to sack their lackey soon. <sighs> Stabilize. Explosive derailment, you got me. But we do go back up to five. And I mean, going to four in the first place was huge, right? At one point we were at three, which is one attack from the lackey. Yikes. Okay, who's going to draw something relevant first? Double white acquired, but the white is probably just a splash. She's here. Wait, why is this red blue? Oh, because it adds red of the secondary ability, but I added... I see. 
All right. I mean, clearly they drew something, but what am I going to do about it? Might just be like a two damage burn spell to finish off the pyro. I can't double block because that thing has first strike. Oh, that's not good. Hey! Oh my god, we did it. Five, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, they get to sack the lackey in response. Oh, I should have actually tapped all my red. Whoops. I forgot the pyromancer was going to trigger. Oh, they didn't. They forgot to sack their lackey. Cool. And we're supposed to hold the gulch in case we draw one of our crime matters cards. Nice, make them discard a card, and uh, we get to make a clue. Pretty good. Last card in their hand. It's good too. For one. All right. Get two red. Exile top card. Perfect. Drawing cards, gaining life. They drain one. You target them, do it again. We can target them and do it again with our uh, duelist as well. Dude, our deck is sweet! Grind Nation, baby. Yeah, Intimidating Campaign is nuts. Love it. Wow. Woo-wee! Mm. Don't you just love when a plan comes together after you've been playing a new format for... Seven hours. All right, three and oh. Go, go, go. All right, looks like we are going to get a rematch. Because, yeah, I mean, like I said earlier, this early access event, as nice as it is that we got to play, uh, there are not many people in it. So the queue times are long. There are not many people drafting. You got to do what you got to do. Drawing the Stingerback Terror, but its plot is a single red, right? Yeah. One and two. No! That raven wasn't a sheriff! How did you kill it? I think we're still gonna lead on the Wolverine here, but I'm just gonna play Pyromancers next turn and not um, Wolverine quite yet, because there's no rush to. Next turn I can go Wolverine, add double red, and then decide what we want to do. Again, the worst hit would be our Overwhelming Forces. And funny enough, we'd actually only be one mana away from casting it. It's not terrible. Mine Raider. I want to just hard cast this? Probably. Pretty good turn. Two three twos and a five five flyer. Well, I just looked at my man opponent's mana base. What is going on over there? I think they're red black uh, crimes, and so they're running these lands. Maybe that one too, even though it's double off color just for the ping. 
I'm not going to block. I mean, if they have a Wrath, so be it. Whenever your opponent makes an attack like this, it smells like a Wrath effect, but whatever. Uh, the beginning of your upkeep exit the top X card where X is the number of outlaws you control. Okay. So we want to dump our hand here. Because that pumps up our Stingerback Terror. You know, just casual 16 damage. <laughs> casual. That ain't gonna cut it, friend. Alright, GG's. We actually do want to grab our land here. You can draw two cards and lose two life. Oh, I guess it didn't matter if I grabbed the land. Whatever. Trample. So even though they're at life, link four or whatever. And it's, you can tell I'm getting tired, but our deck's too good. Super fun to play. Was this sealed? I don't even remember. Was this a draft? <laughs> this was draft, right? Yeah, okay. We drafted a good one. 4-0 now. Alright. Let's go on to the next game and continue to do crime. Oh man, this hand really needs to draw some lands. This hand really needs to draw some lands. Excellent, okay. I plot my dragon here. Raven of Fell Omens. Nice. Let's make our opponent discard a card. We're going to grab a clue. Seems Gucci a baby. And you know what? I'm actually okay playing out a 3 3 flyer this turn. Got me, no blocks. Like the four mana exile effect, yep, is gonna kill that creature anyways, so. It's totally fine. Try to hit a land here, and if we do, we can Wolverine. If we didn't, we'd still have the Bloodseeker. Four mana pass. Is this Skullduggery or something? Okay. Fake your own death. No thanks. Gonna mill ourselves. Build Pyromancer and Hustler. I would doubt my opponents, yeah, on mono black. It felt like they were probably just. Oh, wait, of course, they discarded Betrayal. I was gonna say. It's a good draw, too.
We don't need the lifelinker anymore, so we'll go ahead and sack it and cash it in for two cards. Nice. All right, they get a one-one and another one-one, and we win. G G's full on here. Attack for 10 damages. Not much to say. I mean, our opponent clearly got a little bit mana screwed, but our draw was obviously very good as well. Dude, money. 5-0. Go. Okay. Let's keep the good times rolling. And looks alrighty. Two islands in opening hand, but well. Come on, opponent, let's go. I'm tired over here. <laughs> Game on. Lush Oasis turn one. So this says up to, so if you really need to, you can just make a 1-1 one, one token. Assuming that's worthwhile. Oh, the bandit. That would have been nice to have at the end of last turn. Allow me to play a 3-drop. I think you have to kill their mana dork there. It's so much worse if we just play a 3-drop out and then they ramp into a 4 and go, you know. Riku of Many Paths. 3-3. Three, three. I'm going to recast a modal spell. Choose up to X or X the number of times you chose a mode for that spell. Exit the top card of your library until the end of the play. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on Riku against flying. Okay. So it really depends on how many spree cards they have with that, right? And that really needs a lot of mana to utilize the top of card, but making a 1-1 one, one flyer and pumping Riku, both of those are still really strong, of course. Oh shoot, I realized I don't have much time left in this format. Uh, I think we have... Under an hour left, so I might actually just concede, <laughs> call this deck good. And again, nothing against our opponent, but they're playing a little bit slower and I don't have much time, so. If I try to get one more recording out of this, it would be useful for me to just pick them up and say, go next. Alright, let's do that. For time's sake and hopefully because I will get another video out of this deal let's concede here um, I don't think we were necessarily winning that one but deck was great we went five and one before scooping forces was excellent terror was nuts never really got to show off Kervik, but we did show off the intimidation campaign so thanks for watching that video I'm going to try to record one more uh, before the event gets taken down so thanks for watching we'll see you back next time bye bye